Jesus name we pray. You can be seated. We are considering God's judgment against ungodly and wicked youth. God's judgment against ungodly and wicked youths. There is something about God that we need to know. We know Him as the God of love. The God of patience. The God of mercy. The God of forgiveness. But we need to know him in his complete nature so that we don't suffer from him. He should also be known as the God of judgment. God should be known by you as the God of judgment. As you preach to people about the God of love that created us. The God of love who came in the person of Jesus to redeem us from sin and Satan. The God of love that has prepared heaven for us. We should also preach him as the God of judgment. He revealed himself to Moses in a complete form in the book of Exodus chapter 34. Exodus chapter 34. From verse 5 to verse 8. And the Lord descended in the cloud and stood with him there and proclaimed the name of the Lord. Described himself to Moses. And the Lord passed by him and proclaimed Moses, the one passing by you now is the Lord, self-existent, Jehovah. The Lord God, self-existent and most powerful creator. The Lord God, merciful and gracious, he presents his Attribute of mercy, of grace, over mankind, merciful and gracious, long suffering and abundant in goodness and truth. He present, him, presents himself here as a patient God. And is a good God. But is the God of truth. No law. No error. Is in him. And it goes, continues. Keeping mercy for thousands. He, he keeps mercy. Law. For 
thousands of people. Yes. And forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. That still speaks of the something iniquity, transgression, sin, but it talks about the debt of evil he can forgive. The largeness of evil he can forgive. He is the God of forgiveness of all sin. And that will by no means clear the guilty visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, upon the children's children, unto the dead, and to the fourth generation, he concluded by the God of judgment that he will punish sinners, even transfer punishment upon their wicked children, wicked city, wicked generation. His punishment will just continue on them. That's God. And in the New Testament, he is revealed as a consuming fire. The law is a consuming fire. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the angry God. Look at it in Hebrews chapter 10. Verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. A God of judgment. I need to tell you this because it's possible you are suffering some things already now. Judgment. Heaviness, decay, some destructions are already going in your life. Note that if you are a sinner, God is already starting with you. He is going to punish sin. The judgment of God over the world was spoken of by Enoch before the flood in Jude verse 14 and 15. Jude, next to Revelation, verse 14 and 15. And Enoch also, the servant from Adam, prophesied of this saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. The Lord will come with judgment upon ungodly and wicked people. Ungodly and wicked people. I read a, a small book just day before yesterday, I suppose. And it was experience of somebody that was taken to hellfire. And he was taken to the department of children. Children passing through torment. He said, ah, Lord, children? He said, yes. When they came to the age that could discern good and evil, they willingly continued in evil. And God is a God of judgment. He does not pity age. He does not pity the old man. He does not pity the old woman. He does not pity the little children. He will never pity the youth. That 
are in the middle age between the old and the children. He will never pity them. He will judge them. He is already judging many. And greater judgment is awaiting them. Yes. This judgment has been playing on mankind from the beginning of the creation till this day and shall end in the great white throne judgment. It has been playing from the beginning. See Genesis chapter 4 verse 9 to verse 14. Genesis chapter 4 verse 9 to verse 14. And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> Stubborn youth. Stubborn boy. Judgment was released upon him immediately to tell you our God is the God of judgment. What did he say? And he said, what hast thou done? You think I didn't know what you did? I, you think I didn't know what you did against your brother? You think I didn't know the wickedness of your life? What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crying unto me from the ground. The voice of your innocent brother. The voice of the innocent blood that you have shared in robbery. The voice of the innocent blood that you have shared in war. The blood of the innocent blood that you have shared in abortion. He said, the blood of thy brother that I created to be with you on this earth, whom you have deprived of life. The blood is crying to me for vengeance. The blood is crying to me to revenge. And I am ready to revenge what you did for your brother. For I am a God of judgment. Shall not the God of all the earth do right? Shall not the God of all the earth intervene between man and man? Between one woman and woman? Between man and woman? Shall not God of all the earth intervene between the strong and the weak? The carnal wise and the oppressed? Shall not the God of all the earth do right? He released judgment upon Cain. He said, and now art thou cursed from the earth which had opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. When thou dealest from cultivate the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. Hey. You see some boys wandering upon the streets of this world until they shall die, die as dogs somewhere. Judgment is released over them because of what they have done, the wickedness of their lives. I want you to know that God is the God of judgment. You see some people wasting away. The God of creation is the God of judgment. You might see it in your life. Maybe God brought you here that you might see that he is the one torturing you. He is the one punishing you. He is the one dealing with you and has transferred it over to the people that you are benefiting in wickedness. He has transferred the judgment. They are passing through some unknown sicknesses and diseases. Some unknown oppressions of men. Some unknown fire. Fire breakout. Some unknown things and all oh, plagues and disasters are already passing over your life. Are already passing over transferring to your family that you are sustaining in wickedness. So I want you to know 
our God is a consuming fire. Everybody say, God is a consuming fire. It was too much. Cain understood that message. You are going to be a wanderer. You are going to be a vagabond. You are going to be a useless man. You are going to look a fool upon the earth. Yes, the earth itself has been informed not to attend to you. The earth, my creation has been informed that they should not attend to this stubborn person, stubborn boy, stubborn girl, stubborn man, stubborn woman. Creation has been told by the creator to deal hardly with you. So, Cain understood and he said, and Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Who told you? Then you are asking God that foolish question. And you are asking God that wicked question. And speaking roughly to God. And he say, am I my brother's keeper? God will smite that mouth. God will humble that arrogancy. He will humble it. He knows how to hold you. He knows how to deal with you. So that's judgment. And you see, he began. Nations have been judged. Various people have been judged. And this judgment shall end in the final time in the future with what is called the great white throne judgment. Revelation chapter 20. I read from verse 11 to 15. And I saw a great white throne. And him that sat on it from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And dead and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged. Every man according to their works. And dead and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Final judgment, the lake of fire. Everybody say, final judgment, the lake of fire. You kill somebody and shot yourself and die. And say, yes, I have died. I won't feel. You are, as you just die, you are going to hellfire. And a time is coming, you will come back from hellfire and start before the angry God. You will stand before the God of justice. And all your life, the evils of your life from the time you were born until the time you died, to the last offense, they, they are written in a book already. And they will read it out for you. And then you will be sentenced to everlasting damnation in the lake of fire where you will be in torture forever. Torture. Hey. Torture. It's like carrying you like this now. And then begin to break your head break your head break pieces it after a while your head comes back and another breaking continues that is pain it's as carrying you like this and be skinning you alive as the skin animal be skinning you and when they have removed all the skin of your body and you are crying agonizing <sighs> 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 After they remove all the skin, new skin will come back and the process continues. It is a, it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the, the living God. That's what the scripture is saying. Now, where judgment begins, God's judgment begins on you on earth and will consummate in the lake of fire. God's judgment will begin on earth over your life while you are not. It has already begun. It has already begun. Hey, Ahab, 
you killed Nabal and you took over his vineyard. Hey, the, the judgment was so terrible on Ahab when the Lord pronounced on Ahab and said, the dogs that licked the blood of Nabal shall lick your blood. And all your male children, I shall clear them off. To have the memory of Ahab disappear from the earth. As for Jezebel, I shall make Jezebel to be a heap of stones for memorial in Israel. I'm talking about God. Where are you playing with him? You are playing with God? God is telling you to repent and you're, you're playing. God is telling you to repent. God is showing you mercy. And you are, you are praying with God. His judgment will fall. His judgment will fall. Judgment will fall upon you. And collapse you. You don't know him. You are depriving children to be born into this world. You are killing them. You are affecting people. He said he will be wicked to your life. That's God. You think we are playing here? You think God is playing with you? Go to hell. They understood him better there. The people in hell have understood him better. Yet, church me will start here. In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 31. Proverbs chapter 11, I read verse 31. The Bible tells us here, saying, Behold, the righteous shall be recompensed in the earth. Much more, the wicked and the sinner. Your reward will start from this world. Don't say until you die. They are only waiting for you. At a time, they will kick start. At a particular set time, judgment will kick start. Now they are little, little, you are not seeing. At a particular time, judgment will kick start. In your life, it will be terrible. You will regret being created. You will regret that you live in this world. You will regret that you were born of your father. You will regret that a woman gave birth to you. You will curse the day you were, you were born to this world. When the judgment of God can start, starts over your life. When judgment, decay, you will get to rotten when you are still alive. You will regret. You will regret. The Lord will humble you. You will cry out like Cain. Hey, my punishment is too much for me. My punishment is greater than I can bear. It will be greater. It will be greater. Since you refuse Jesus to take it away. You will bear it. You will carry mountain upon your head. You will carry great rocks. Upon your head. That's what God is telling us. Judgment will start upon this earth. In chapter 13, verse 21 of Proverbs. Proverbs 13, 21. Evil shall pursue the sinners. Evil shall follow you as a shadow. The evil you are doing will follow you as a shadow. Don't think you are smarter. Don't think it's still following. He has not stricken on you yet. Don't think you are smarter. Yes, that's what the scripture is saying right here in the world, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, verse 27 to 31. Jeremiah 25, verse 27 to verse 31. Therefore, thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink ye and be drunken with my judgment and spew and fall and rise no more because of the soul which I will send among you. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at thy hand to drink, then shall thou say unto them, Thou seest the Lord of hosts ye shall certainly drink it. You will certainly drink of the reward of your evil life. You will certainly suffer it. There is no heart in your heart. You will suffer your judgment. It is a sure matter. Like a shadow follows a man. 
There's nothing you can do to remove that shadow. He said, you will certainly drink it. For lo, I begin to, to bring evil upon the city, which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for the sword. I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth. See the Lord of hosts. Therefore, prophesy thou against them all these words and say unto them, the Lord, yeah, the Lord shall mar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. Yes, he shall, he, he shall mightily mar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that trade the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth. For the Lord hath a controversy with the nations. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the soul, seeth the Lord. It is a judgment. That is his life. It is going to, it's not only you. All sinners in the earth. All sinners. The one that is teaching you sin. Remember he has, he has died. He's crying now. He's calling on your name. He's looking for somebody to come and tell you. Wickedness does not pay. I'm suffering eternally. He's looking for somebody to send to you. I mean that your colleague, that colleague that died in the divine judgment, died by sickness, died by, 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 by firing squad, died by various ways, is crying and is looking for somebody to send to you. And the Lord said, Pastor Porika is around, he will handle you. That's why I'm here. Another preacher's around. That's why they're talking to you in your respective places. It's, a, it's the mercy of God that is saying, handle him so he may not join his friend. Handle him so that he may not join his mentors. That's what the Lord is saying. That's why you're here. You're here because the Lord wants to give you touches. Maybe the final touch. Before judgment will ensue. Because he's the God of judgment. But before judgment, he wants to show mercy. That's why you're hearing a message like this. Yes. In face Peter. Chapter 4. Verse 17 and 18. First Peter. Chapter 4. Verse 17 and 18. The Bible tells us here saying. For the time is come. That judgment must begin. At the house of God. And if it first begin at us. What shall the end be. Of them that obey not the gospel of God. The time will come. And the time is already going on. Judgment will start in the house of God. Judgment will start. And if those who have even named the name of the Lord. Who are preachers. Those who are elders and leaders. Those who are women leaders. Youth leaders. Those who had this and that. Who go to church. Will be terribly judged. Then what do we say about Muslims? What do we say about pagans? What do we say about other religions? Terrible. Everybody said terrible. Everybody said terrible. It shall be terrible with them. It shall be terrible with them. It shall be terrible with them. Because when judgment starts from the house of God, what about those outside? When Jesus begins to breathe fire upon those in his house, what about those outside? Those ones. Hey, terrible, 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 terrible. Yes, God's judgment shall begin on you on earth and consummate in the lake of fire. Sweetness shall be turned to bitterness. Joy to sorrow. Peace to pain. Glory shall be turned to gloominess. Beauty shall be turned to ashes. Hell, sound hell shall be turned to decay. Intelligence, carnal intelligence, shall be turned to foolishness. Riches, yes, riches, sinful riches, shall be turned to punery. 
The throne shall be turned to the grave. And the soul shall be turned to hell. Hey. It's coming at the door. It's close to you. They are picking them one by one. And the line is getting closer to you. The avenger of blood. Is picking them one by one. And it's getting closer. It's getting closer. In Isaiah chapter 13. Verse 11. Isaiah. Chapter 13. I read. Verse. 11. The Bible says. And I will punish. The world. For their evil. And the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Verse 15 to 18. Everyone that is found shall be trust true. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed in pieces. Before the, before their eyes, their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives shall be ravished. Behold, I will stir up the midst against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. I'm telling you, judgment that is coming will not be, ah, give me money. Yeah, you bribe the policeman. You even bribe them in the court. Have you heard of assassins that go to people and they say, I want to give you. Now, take this back of money. Say, we didn't come for back of money. God sent us for judgment. It's, your time has finished. We are sent for judgment. We are agents of judgment. We are wicked ourselves. Our time is coming. But we are working on you. Some other people will work on us. Hallelujah! The wicked shall bow. I shall cause the pride of wickedness to cease. I cause it to cease in Cain. I cause it to cease in Ahab. Ahab started walking slowly. God's hand was heavy upon Ahab. God's judgment was heavy upon Ahab. All his intelligence and kingship and the throne became, became vanity. It vanished from his eyes. Vanish. Your money will vanish. Your beauty will vanish. Your pride will vanish. Your connections will vanish. Your glory will vanish. That's what God is saying. When judgment is released, it's coming from heaven. Has anybody stopped the rain from coming? Has anybody stopped the cloud that they should not release water? So none can stop the judgment from heaven. The judgment from heaven. No witchcraft. No occultic power. No any spiritual spirit of water or spirit of what can stop the judgment coming from God. This is the finger of God. This is the finger of God. Charm, talisman, whatever, demons cannot suffer, suffice. We go and sleep in water for, for, for one year and say you're going to gather power. God shall melt you down. God shall melt you down. God shall melt you down. Your witchcraft shall perish. Judgment will overtake you. Judgment will start with, start with you from witchcraft meeting. Seize you up and throw you and march upon your life. The God of heaven is the God of judgment. You're playing with him. You're playing with him. Who told you to play with God? Who told you to play with God? Is it because of, of his patience? Is it because of his patience? There's this snake that, that fastens the teeth. He doesn't lose it on time. And then you go and stand on it. He will lose his teeth and handle you. You will fall there. That's what we're saying. Yes. Judgment shall begin in the house of the Lord. Among those who are in the church. Who have had preaching. Who have had listened to teaching. Who have listened to sing the songs of the Lord. And have even sung them themselves. Those who have read the Bible, who have a copy of the Bible, who have attended crusades and conferences of the Lord. Judgment shall start with leaders, workers, members, pastors, overseers, bishops. Judgment shall start, yes, with the children of the pastors. 
the children of church leaders. Judgment shall stop. Yes, that's what the Lord is saying. Judgment shall stop with the children of holiness revival movement. Worldwide, it shall start with their leaders. It shall start with their leader, coordinators of all ranks. Judgment shall start with them. All this who despise the privileges of his grace shall, shall, they, they shall suffer. They shall suffer. Don't call my name when the judgment of God comes upon you. Don't call my name. Hey, pastor, help, help who? Help the cursed person. The cursed person who is stubborn to the God of heaven. Don't call me. Don't call your brother. Because none shall serve you. Everybody say, whether Paul, I mean, whether Noah or Daniel or Job were there, he shall only serve himself. When God arises in judgment, everybody is afraid. Everybody is afraid. Everybody is checking himself. Is he coming to me? God, anything in my life? Jesus, anything, anywhere? You, you will be calling for who? For help. You are calling for who? For hell. This is the time of hell. That's why you're here. For you to be hearing this word and playing with it. Fire will fall from heaven. Judgment will fall from heaven. Decay shall come upon your life. That's what I'm saying. That's what the scripture is saying. You despise your creator. You despise the most high. Hey? So this is part of the conference preaching. This is a serious case. Of. So they preach this type of thing too. Oh, they have not been preaching it. That's why you are still in your sin, not knowing the judgment that is coming. We preach judgment. Some have never heard the message of judgment. Yes, yeah, some have never heard the message of impending judgment. Some have never heard the message of final judgment awaiting every man. They have no heart. They have no heart. They have not even heard that judgment is already working on them. They have never heard. Some criticize preachers who preach of Christ's judgment on sinners. They are ignorant. The Bible is the book of judgment from the beginning. Why? Adam and Eve were judged after their sin and sent out of the garden of Eden. Cain judged after killing Abel and we became a vagabond upon the earth. The world of Noah judged by the flood. They all perished. Only eight persons were saved. Sodom and Gomorrah judged by fire. They were all consumed. Only Lord, his wife and two daughters. And when the two, they came out of the gate, the wife looked back, judged and became a pillar of salt. Nebuchadnezzar was judged and sent to the bush. He became an animal for seven years. Herod was judged and became dead and wombs took over his body. But Jesus was judged and stricken with blindness. The Bible is a book of judgment. God is a consuming fire. He's dealing patiently with you on your plane. He's dealing patiently with you. You're playing in witchcraft. Even saying you're coming to his conference with witchcraft. God will handle you. Judgment will come upon your life. Decay will take you up. You will decay. You will decay. You will decay. A heart of a terrible wizard. Judgment overtook him. His teeth became rotten. As he was eating food, maggots were falling from his mouth. Creator wants to humble him. The creator wanted to humble him. If he starts on it, how worse is hell? How worse is hell? Yes, that's what the world is telling us. That's what the world is saying. The word of God is saying. Men and women, youths and children suffer judgment today. Preaching judgment is part of the gospel message. Jonah chapter 3 verse 1 to 4. Jonah chapter 3 verse 1 to 4. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. Which preaching was that? Listen to Jonah. Listen to the preaching that God gave Jonah. 
Who told you that we don't preach judgment? It was the preaching of judgment that saved Nineveh. See, it, Jonah started. So, Jonah arose and went into Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now, Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, according to the preaching God gave him, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. Forty days. That's what he was just saying. Forty days Nineveh shall be destroyed. Forty days Nineveh shall be destroyed. One month ten days Nineveh shall be no more. Nineveh shall be no more. One month ten days. I don't know the time God has given to you to evacuate you from the earth. I don't know the time, but the God of heaven has set a time for your life to evacuate you from living, to get you out of his creation, get you out of existing upon the earth. You go to hell. I don't know the number of time, but Nineveh it was 40 days. For Nineveh it was 40 days. For your wicked person, for your evil person, for your nasty person, for your stubborn person, for your rebellious person, for your tough person. I don't know the number of days. Toughness shall be no more. Wickedness shall be no more. Human beings shall rest from you. Human society shall rest. There shall be Sabbath. There shall be a Sabbath. Your family will rest. The school will rest. The government will rest. In fact, police people will rest. I'm telling you, judgment. God! God! God is the God of judgment! You can commit abortion and be going freely? Who told you? Do you know how much it costs God to create a child? Who is your, who, who told you to stop his life? He would have been a, a preacher, a greater preacher than I. You stop him because you would want Satan to rule the world. You don't want God to send people to save mankind. What about if the mother of Jesus has aborted him? What if he has aborted him? See how dark the world is, the world would have been. And you did it. You think it's a job? And the Lord said, I can still forgive you. Yeah, I say, God, I want to do more. When I have done enough. Yay! Judgment will overtake you. Hey! I mean, wonderful. Judgment will overtake you. I'm telling you. Hey! That's it. Now, three sources of judgment. I'm going to tell you three sources of judgment. Three directions of judgment. To show you that in the mouth of two or three witnesses, judgment is perfected. Number one, men on earth shall judge you for wickedness. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, Verse 30 and 31. Proverbs chapter 6. Verse 30 and 31. Men do not despise a thief. If he steal to satisfy his soul when he is hungry. But if he be found, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. When men caught a catch a thief, you know how they deal with him. They even stone him to death. If they can pity him enough to lock him up in prison. That is mean on earth. When a child offends his parents, they beat him. If he gets worse, the, the, the various kinds of judgment are meted on him. The society and the government of nations have special institutions that set up judgment for the wicked. The traditional institutions, the police stations, the courts, and the prisons are there. And decrees, government decrees, these are there. Now, that's judgment of men. Men themselves would deal with, in fact, it's as if they say, God, don't worry, we'll handle him. <laughs> don't worry. 
But they cannot ask God not to worry because whatever they do to you cannot be equal to God's judgment on you. Whatever they're doing to you is small. Whatever you see me on earth do to a wicked man is just small. A witch or a wizard discovered. What men do on him, on her, is very small. Sometimes men are even weak. So, let them go ahead, but God is waiting for his time. God is waiting for his time. Then, the second source of judgment is the law of recompense or retribution. That one is automatic. It's like computer. It's set up by itself. It is working automatically by itself. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4 to verse 10. Revelation chapter 18 verse 4 to verse 10. The Bible tells us here saying and I had another voice from heaven saying come out of her my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that that ye be not partakers of her sin. Yes. Ye receive not of her pledge, for her sins have reached unto heaven. And God hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her as she has rewarded you. And double upon her, double according to her works, in the cup which he had filled, filled to her, double, how much she had glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow, give her, for she said in her heart, I sit a queen, and I'm no widow, and shall see no, 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 no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burnt with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judged her. The law of recompense. You go about doing evil. Against people, persons, people, villages, towns, cities, and nations. You go about destroying Christians, destroying churches, attacking men of God, spoiling children of men of God, spoiling children in the church. You turn youths and children over to Satan by initiation. You kill, you eat, and you drink the blood of people. Through witchcraft, arm robbery, and idolatry. Your turn is coming. You must reap what you sow. It must be done to you as you did to others. They also are mean like you. It is a law of nature. Do to others as you expect them to do to you. That's natural law. What you are doing, see the way. It happened. It was seen in Liberia. In the case of Samuel Doe and the others. As you did to somebody, it shall come to you. As you did, he that killed with God shall be killed with God. He that killed with Saul shall be killed with Saul. Whatever a man sows, he shall reap. What wickedness you have done to your family is coming on you. You will never go unpunished. It's not possible. It's not possible. You will never go unpunished. The wickedness you did in school shall never go unpunished. The wicked certificate you're using shall never go unpunished. The people, the group you have, you have gathered up and initiated into witchcraft and gang, you will never go unpunished. You spoil the children of women, the children of men. You gather them and deliver them to Satan. You will never go unpunished as you're wrecking their life 
your life shall be wrecked. You kill and eat and drink. Human beings, you're, you will be eaten. You will be eaten. Others also shall drink your blood. The blood of Nabal. That you have given to the dogs to lick. Lock. Dogs shall lick your blood. God is a law. It's a natural law. It is in the computer of life. Nobody needs to do it. Nature will reward you. Nature. The wickedness of done in churches. Wickedness. And you are coming to holiness movement. Judgment would overtake you. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. He that laughs last is we will love best. we will love last over you we will be the one to laugh at the end because we shall see your misery we shall see your doom we shall see your decay because it's a natural law give and it shall be given to you pressed down shaking together and running over that's the word of god they the third source of judgment is god himself Everybody say God himself. Ha. God himself. He doesn't know bribery. Yeah, what will you do? You can, you're not stronger than him. If you go to Satan and say, Satan, come and help me. You see, you don't know that he's God himself. The magicians of Egypt said, told Pharaoh, this one is the finger of God. We cannot do it. All demons will bow. They will bow. Oh. Your, your excellency, your excellency, they will bow and leave you there. He's God himself. That Jesus that you despise is the one standing as king. Is the one standing as king. That Jesus. A story was told of a Muslim boy that died. And the Lord gave revelation to our sister. He saw, this Muslim boy came from hell to give had a message. He said, because they lived in the same, in the same environment, he said, when I came here, I, I, I was in a queue, and I saw God, sit, the God was sitting on the throne of judgment, and people were coming to him, coming to him, he was condemning and justifying, condemning and justifying. So when it was my turn, I came about and said, Allah, Kuhar, God. He said, keep quiet, I'm not your Allah. I'm not your Allah. He straight forth his son and demon appeared with two horns written upon his forehead was Allah. He says, look at him there. He's the one, that wicked character, wicked behavior, burning churches, killing people, maiming people. It's not my character. It's the character of the devil. For ye are of your father the devil. Then the young man will say, ah, then why didn't you tell me all this while when I was on earth? We have been deceived. Well, the two asked any time and said, God, tell me the truth. Which religion is the correct one? Which faith is the correct one? Did you ask? You didn't ask. And you, you enjoyed the pleasures of religion. The pride of religion. Now, depart from me into everlasting hell. I know you know. And the boy went to hell and burnt. They saw him burnt. I think the Holy Ghost brought him so that he can send message to Muslims in the world. That all this pride is vanity. It's hell that wants out their pride. It's hell. Hell. Because the Allah they are talking about is not Jesus. They say they don't know him. The stubborn creature is telling the creator they don't know him. He will deal with them. He will handle them. None shall escape. Not small, not great. I'm telling you, God is a consuming fire. God is a consuming fire. Did you join him to create the world? Where do you want to spoil the world he created? Who are you? What's your name? Where are you from? He will handle you. It's God himself. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 14. I mean chapter 18. Verse 4. Ezekiel. Chapter 18. Verse 4. The Bible tells us here. Verse 4. Behold all souls among as the soul of the father. So also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sinned it shall die. Hey. Finish. 
you will die. God says you will die. Because you're an adulterer. You will die. You are, you are a sinner, a witch. You will die. God says so. God says so. You are a drunkard. You will die. God says so. You are a thief. You will die. God says so. God says so. You are area boy. You are an arm robber. You will die. God says so. He says so. The dying is not just normal dying. It's hell. It's hell. It's hell. Hell. If nobody told you, I tell you now. Stab on to your parents. Stab on to your mother. Slapping your mother. Hey, terrible. What a cursed child. Slap the mother. Fought the father. You carry your father and fell him down. And sit upon your father. Angels are beating their head like this. Hey, God, when will I handle this boy? Hey! Huh? I'm telling you. Stab on. You're wearing trousers. Girl. You will die. You will die. That's what God is saying. They're talking to you about all this jewelry you refuse. You will die. You say you want life. You want play. You will die. The soul that sin it. 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 The coordinator that sin it. The woman coordinator that sin it. The hormone member that sin it. The Baptist church member that sin it. The deeper life member that sin it. The worker in the government that sin it. The societal man that sin it. The rich man that sin it. Perfect. That's the word of God. That's divine decree. Divine decree. The Lord has decreed judgment of eternal hell for all sinners. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. He has created hellfire for everlasting punishment for sinful and wicked people. In Matthew chapter 25 verse 41. Matthew chapter 25 verse 41. Then shall he say to them, also unto them, On the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into a everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. Mark chapter 9, from verse 42. Mark chapter 9, from verse 42 to 48. And whosoever shall offend, one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and he were cast into the sea. And, and if thy hand offend thee, cut it off. It is better for thee to enter into life. Men than having two hands to go into hell, into the fire that never shall be quenched, where their womb dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. Their womb dieth not, the fire is not quenched. There you shall not die, but live forever and ever. And because you shall have no dealing with God anymore, you remain there. From what I understand, the righteous shall go, shall be given opportunity to look to see you people in hell. From heaven. So that they should not join any, no rebellion should start again. People should have known the, the reward of wickedness. God, I shall, they shall go to see the carcasses of them that are in hell. Jesus shall be marching us in us excursion to go and see you. You will be crying. Bunt! Stubborn! I will remember you, I will recognize you. I say I preached to you. Yes, Jesus, he was one of our people who came for conference. In fact, he was one of our leaders. Hey, that guy was saying, hey. hey. So he was a hypocrite. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ooh. We'll be wondering. Hey. I'm telling you. 
Delhi is terrible. The future is terrible. The future is terrible. Now, divine escape road from judgment. You would have been asking all this why. Is that all? It's a message of love. While you are still alive, your friends have gone. They didn't hear this preaching. It's a pity. They block them from coming to holiness movement or coming to true churches where this truth should be preached. They block them. They are members of Catholic. They were Catholic people. They were doing hell Mary for them. They were Jehovah's Witness. They told them that there was no hell. There were other kinds of people. In fact, some of them were Muslims. They didn't even know that Jesus is the Son of God or the Savior or the Creator of their life. They were, not, they were told to reject Jesus. They have died. No this preaching for them. But mercy kept you for this day. This is the day that the Lord was talking to you about. That he will show you mercy. This is that day. That I will forgive your iniquity. This is that day. That the Lord was promising you. That he will forgive your iniquity. Job 34. Verse 31 and 32. Job chapter 34. Verse 31 and 32. The Bible tells us here about what you are to do. Verse 31. Surely it is meet to be said unto God, I have borne chastisement. I will offend no more. I will offend. I will not offend anymore. That which I see not, teach down me. If I have done iniquity, I will do no more. We told you about this naked dressing. This half skirt you are wearing, half blouse, exposing your tie, exposing your, your legs. We told you about them. If you are to repent, go and burn those clothes, girl. Set them on fire. Burn them as you go now. Every dress that does not go to the size, I told you, three quarter. Just leaving small of your, 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 uh, the, your of a space between your, 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 un your uncle and your feet. If not, you are held captive. Judgment. I will punish them, the sons of, the, 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 the daughters of the king that are, are appareled in strange clothing. I'll punish them. I will punish them. Yes, I told you about Jesus who, are, who came in one of our conferences in Worry. I was preaching like this. Some choir girls in that Pentecostal church were sitting behind me with this their tight short skirt opening. Their legs were open. And Jesus was revealing to one of us and said, see that man there. He look at him. The man was covered with darkness. You see the other one is covered with darkness. Dark, darkness. He said, it's because of the exposure of this land. I will deal with them. This is your nakedness. Parents, your child is naked. You keep quiet. You're joining them. Hell! I'm telling you. You're even the one buying the clothes for them. You are even the one buying the clothes and attracting hell to your house. Attracting hell. Why do you love that child more than Jesus? Why do you love her more than Jesus? More than your soul? You can only love a person as you love your soul. And you don't want to go to hell. You can't permit wickedness in your house. Go to the wardrobe and set those clothes on fire. Don't mind her crying. Let her go and report you to God. Let her leave the house. I'm talking to you. We must, you must escape hell. If the, she wants to go to hell, go alone. Go alone. I'm not going with you. Yes, and my God will be angry and say, I gave you a chance to pollute his wall, to lead people to hell. I'm not going to be guilty of the blood of any man. That's the word of God unto you. It is the word. It is the word. It is the word. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw near, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Remember your creator. Now you are young. Your creator is calling for you. He wants to change your life. 
He wants to use you. That, the reason why he has not destroyed you, he is planning that if you will come, he will change you and use you. He will use you like myself, use you more than myself. And revenge over the devil. That's why he's, he's following you, guiding you, helping you, preserving you. Can you repent? Can you repent? Can you repent? But when his mercy has finished, hey, the, you will see his eyes of fire. His eyes will change to fire. Consuming fire. Hey, the creator. Yes. Repent of your wickedness. And sinfulness. And turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. For your forgiveness and salvation. Let the wicked forsake his way. And the unri unrighteous his thoughts. And let him turn to the Lord. He will pardon him. Let him turn to the, his God. He will abundantly pardon Yes. Receive forgiveness and salvation from Jesus. Make a right, make right your ways with, with, with fellow men. Make peace with all men and follow holiness. The earth is laid, is laid over every tree to cut it down. Every tree that does not bring forth their acceptable fruit shall be hewn down. Paul the apostle testified that he himself did great evil against God but was pardoned by God to encourage all sinners to come to God for their forgiveness. That's what Paul said. I was pardoned. I, I wasted the church. I, 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 I persecuted Jesus. But God showed me mercy. To tell other people that he, he, I delight in mercy and not in judgment. Finally, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 18. Ezekiel chapter 18, 18. See what the Lord says in verse 30 to 32. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, said the Lord God. Repent and turn yourselves from your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your reign. Cast away from you all your transgressions. Whereby ye have transgressed. And make you in a new heart and a new spirit. For why will ye die? For have no pleasure in the date of him that dieth, saith the Lord. Wherefore, turn ye, turn yourselves, and leave. He doesn't have pleasure in sending you to hell. He didn't create you for destruction. He created you for, for praise and his glory. So, turn off from sin. Resign from that gang, from that gang. Don't fear that they will kill you. God is greater than them. Who, who are they? Come to the true church. Show forth yourself unto us. We will talk to God for you. We will protect you. If they follow you, they will fall down and be hot. God will judge them. Come out of witchcraft. Come out from family witchcraft. Come out of that societal witchcraft. Occultism. Get out from it. Get out from it. God is calling you. He wants to make use of you. He will break all those things off you. He will remove those arms out of your body and clean you up for himself. Get out from immorality. Get out from second marriage. Get off that second wife. No, you don't need her. You don't need that you adulterous man that is making you a concubine. Break away from those things. All those masturbation. Say, cry against it to the Lord. The Lord will break it. The Lord wants you now. Jesus wants you. Jesus wants you into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus, come into the to stay. Be marching forward. Be marching forward. Come in 
to my heart. You sinner man, be coming forward to give your life to him. Into my heart. Into my I say be much forward. Your creator is calling you. Into my heart. You knew you are the wicked man I'm talking about. Wicked child. Wicked boy. Be marching forward. Lord Jesus. Come in today. Come in to stay. Come in to my Lord Jesus. Sing it over. Sing it over. Into my heart. Invite him. invite him you man come forward woman come forward invite give invite your creator into my For your life, the judgment does not overtake you. Make sure you repent or genu genuinely come for your restitution. Show yourself if you are a witch. Show yourself if you are in occultism. Show yourself if you are an arm robber. Show yourself. Don't hide yourself. Judgment should not overtake you. Judgment of God. The wickedness you have done to other people should not follow you. Cry out for salvation. Cry out to Jesus. Cry out to Jesus. Rise up upon your feet. Let everybody be crying to go. The world is wicked. Judgment is coming upon the world. The world is wicked. Judgment is coming upon the world. Cry for your sons and daughters. Judgment will overtake them. Ah. Jesus, plead with him to forgive you. Plead, 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 plead with Jesus. Let him forgive you. in your kingdom remember me oh my god remember me in your kingdom remember me oh my jesus remember me oh my god i don't want to go to hell remember me oh my father remember me oh lord remember me in your kingdom I want to go to heaven remember me oh my father remember me oh my Jesus remember me oh my God Cry 
die for your soul. Your soul is going to hell. Cry that the Lord will redeem you. The Lord will save you from Satan. The Lord will save you from sin. Tell Jesus, tell Jesus to come into your life. Tell Jesus to take over your life. Let Jesus take over your life. Let Jesus take over your life. Call upon Jesus. Yeah, call upon him. Call upon Jesus. Call upon him. Call upon Jesus. Let him take over your life. Let him take over your life. Let Jesus, let Jesus inside. Let him take over. Let him take over. Let Jesus take over. Let him take over. Don't be laughing at all. Judgment is going to overtake you if you ever play with this time. Open you close your eyes and be praying. Cry to God. Cry to God. Cry. Let Jesus take over your life. Repent of your sin. Repent. Repent. Repent of your sin. Stop your sin now. Repent. Repent. Yes, Jesus should take over your life. Jesus, repent. 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 That's what the word of God is saying. Let Jesus take over your life. Let Jesus take over your life. Repent. Repent. That's what Jesus is saying. That's what Jesus is saying. Let him take over. Oh Lord your God. Oh Lord my God. Take over. Take over. Jesus take over. Oh liars. Telling lies. Tell God to forgive your lies. Tell God to forgive your lies. Let God change your life. Let God change your life. Let God change your life. Let Jesus take over you. Let Jesus take over you. Cry little child. Little child. Cry. Close your eyes and be praying. And be crying to Jesus. Let him forgive you. Let him forgive you. Let him forgive you. Let him forgive you. Pray to Jesus. Pray to Jesus. Hey there. You there. Close your eyes and pray. Close your eyes and be telling Jesus. Yes. Come out of my water spirit. Come out of my water spirit. Come out of witchcraft. Come out of witchcraft. Come out of witchcraft. Reject it. Destroy the property of witchcraft. Destroy the property of witchcraft. Come out of Islam. Come out of Islam. Come out of all those poor religion. Wicked religion. Sinful religion. Rebellious religions. That don't know Jesus. That reject Jesus. Repent. Come out of it. Come out of it. And give your love to Jesus. Follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. For heaven. For heaven. Not for riches in this world. Not for honor. Religious honor. I mean riches. Riches of heaven. Riches of heaven. All those Mormons, Lake the Saints, all those churches, occultic churches, Jehovah's Witness, Catholicism. Get them out. Get out from them. Get out. Get out. Come and serve Jesus. Oh, worship. Ah.
In Jesus' name we pray. Into my heart. Come in to my heart. Lord Jesus, come in today, come in to stay, come in to my heart, Lord Jesus, rise up upon your feet. And lay hand upon your heart. You are giving that heart to Jesus. Can Satan rebuke Satan in your life? Now, answer, say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I, am I am wicked. I have done many evil things done many against, you against you and against fellow men. I'm sorry. Thank you that I have not died. That you spared me for this day. I surrender. Take me now. Change my life. Let me become your own. Jesus, I accept you now to be my Lord and Savior. I will no more go to Satan. I will no more go to the world. I will no more go to sin. I don't want to perish. Serve me. Serve me. Give me your power to live a righteous life. Thank you, Lord. Wash me with your blood. Cover me with your blood. In Jesus name. I'm praying for you to the Lord. God. You said we should go and preach the world. You will be with us to serve the people. See them before you. They have heard your word. They want to be saved. Save them. They are drowning in the sea. Save them, Lord! Save them, Lord! Lord, deal with Satan that has taken some of them to witchcraft, occultism, Occultic gang, arm robbery, weak, every kind of wickedness. I bind the devil in their lives in the name of Jesus. Oh my God, my Father, my Creator, that evil living in them, I command by God be broken in the name of Jesus. Your evil eyes I take away from you. I command the wicked to cut out. Wicked mind come out in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, take over their lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ha! Ah, let them become new creatures. If any man is in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. And all things become new. I have 
decided to fall. Yes, you have decided. Yes, you have decided. in your possession should be submitted. You are no more for chamber for Jesus. The wicked life you have been living should be confessed. So see the leaders. The leaders will be in the mango tree there after food. Whether to 1 a.m. Go and meet them and confess. If you are into witchcraft, into occultism, into a gang. Maybe you were even sent here for, for one evil thing or the other. Confess everything. Submit your charm. And when you go back to your church, to your states, to your nations, to where, look for holiness survivor movement. Don't listen to whatever any pastor is going to tell you. Don't. Whether it is deeper life or anywhere, don't listen to them. It's God that is inviting you to holiness movement. Is that clear? Go and look for holiness survivor movement. And join them. How many of you would do that? How many of you would do that? Don't listen to any man send you to hell. Because we want to keep you in righteousness, teach you the correct thing until Jesus takes you to heaven. Until Jesus perfects your life and uses you to his glory. And in fact, as you grow up, you will marry well. And then do the work of God very well. Is that okay? Confess your deep sin. Confess it. The coordinators will be on that mango tree there. Show the state you are from. They will direct you to your state person. If you are in Abuja here, you will still see them. The coordinators, you are going to be under the mango tree and handle these people. Both those who want baptism to be baptized in water and those who come for just confession. Let, make sure you give them attention. Treat as many, they may be, I don't know how many hundreds they are. May God give you grace. If it does not finish tonight, we transfer it to tomorrow. Afternoon time, you will be under the mango tree. And they will still come and meet you there. Total freedom. Total freedom. Total freedom. You are free! You are free! You are free! You can go and sit down. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, holinessrevivalmovement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world, 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe. say 
you purchased me with your blood you are my lord and my savior you left your throne above and took up the form of a servant for my sin I believe in you, you are the living Savior. Yeah.